decline of fish as a result of illegal fishing methods at the Indian Ocean has not gone down well with the Kenya Wildlife Service. And now, in an effort to save the situation and conserve the water body, the Kenya Wildlife Service is warning that those found culpable will be arrested for breaking the law. Sababu kiangalia kama vile border points, lunga lunga, ambaye ni mpaka yetu na Tanzania, kuna maovi za wetu ambao wanalinda doria pale usiku na mchana. Wakiangalia hizi illegal threats ambazo sinakuwa smuggled out. According to Kwele County Deputy Park Warden Abraham Sankog, they will not relent in their effort to ensure conservation of the ocean. Kama mtu wakatapatikana hamefunja sheria, kuna utaratibu ambao inafuatwa ya kiserekali. Kama ni mtu wa inje wa Tanzania, kuna embassy. Wakubwa yetu wanaongea, alafu utaratibu mwafaka inafuatwa ili kusuluhisha ilo swala. Last year alone, five people were arrested in Mombasa and three in Kuala County for their involvement in illegal wildlife trade. Kutwekea vizu hizi hichi muenacho, hichi muenacho, hichi muenacho, la huna hichi, huna rusa kuna kazinu. Kishiko utachua ndani, au fine elfu kumi. Sasa mimi, mfuku wa unga wa sima kuna kula na wanangu, wanitatiza elfu kumi ya kulipa fine taitu hapa. Uwoni kama ni kunifanya mnyonge na kunyanya soko. According to the fishermen, illegal fishing methods at the Kenyan coast continue to deny a night's sleep with many of them majorly reliant on the trade. Na hii bandari ilikuwa hakuna, si bandari ilikuwa ni kama mahali tu, yani wawatu kutembele tembele, lakini ilikuwa siyo bandari. Ilikuwa ni bandari yu wakigisha wa Arabu hapa zamani mwaka wa 63 kabla ya mdekinyata ku pata uhuru nimeacha masomo nikaingilia kazi ya bahari na alhamdulillah tunashukuru wakati wa nyuma kazi ilikuwa ni mzuri japokuwa sahihi kidogo kazi imeharibika tena imeharibika sana na sio kwa imeharibika imeharibiwa fishermen who have majorly depended on this job for their entire lifetime at old town mombasa allege that fishermen in the neighboring countries are using the dynamite system of fishing which also adds stress to ocean ecosystem such as corals Watanzania wanaharibu mazingira automatically hasa katika uvuvi wao wale wanaotumia kutumia bombu wanavunja corals zote katika maeneo ya Tanzania hadi jaji ya Kenya pia wameingia mpaka Kenya wanavunja hizo maeneo huo ni uharibifu ambao sisi tunazitegemea kama attraction za wageni ili kuweza kupata pesa za kigeni na kui kikimu mahitaji ya kijamii. KWS director in Mombasa Salim Makomba revealed that their target to reach 25% coral cover in the next 7 years could be hindered due to these activities. Pushka watoto wa samaki unamaliza kile kizazi. Kwa hivyo tunataka washike samaki yule ambaye atampa pesa na samaki yule ambaye ni mkubwa na anastahili kushikwa. Ngiposa wakaelezwa kwamba watumie ile neti ambayo inafaa. Use of monofilament nets and fish bombs is illegal due to their destructive nature which is not sustainable. After an area is bombed, the coral reefs are damaged with the fish not seen in that particular area ever again. Uvuvi ya ramu ambapo ambayo imeharamishwa na sheria ni kama vile kutumia bunduki. Bunduki ni haramu kwa sababu ikitumika inapata hata yule samaki ambayo alikuwa ameficha. So kuna ile dhana ya kwamba e, uvuvi ya kesho haitapatikana kwa sababu mvuvi anafuata mpaka kwa pango samaki amejificha. Kwaleza KWS Deputy Park Warden Abraham Sonkok maintained that patrol efforts through partnership with KFS, Coast Guards and other agencies have seen illegal fishing methods reduced drastically. International Conservation of Nature IUCN states that illegal fishing is one of the highest illicit trade sectors posing threats to public health and security making it one of the greatest pressing challenges of today's society reporting for K24 TV I am Electine Odera